Hey there, Fit Farm Chick here, and today's project is how to modge podge a photo or poster to a piece of wood. So right now I've got some pre-cut pieces of wood and a couple posters I found at a vintage uh, farmer's market we had a couple weeks ago. So Sean helped me cutting the pieces of wood to size. So I gotta use some stuff to hold the uh, papers down just for a moment. So I got my Mod Podge here and I got my piece of wood. So first things first, you go ahead, I'm doing a couple of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and get a good flop of the Mod Podge on here. I like to be pretty thorough. Go with the grain so you make sure you get it in every little nook and cranny there. It's a beautiful day in sunny South Florida. I'm gonna hop in the pool and do some exercises when I'm done. We rode the, uh, we have a Segway, and no, but we have a couple Segways. We have two mini Segways, and a friend just gave us a big one <coughs> that we finally got the battery and, and stuff for. So we rode that today, my first time riding it for a long time. So now you also want to put a little coat of my side on the actual photo or picture that you're adhering. Just one good coat. Be generous, don't be afraid to, this is water soluble, it comes off pretty easy. On all my crafts that I make um, with my Cameo 3, I do a lot of uh, vinyl, and I've been adhering the vinyl to pieces of wood or canvases that I have painted to look like pieces of wood. And uh, when I'm done, any project when I'm done, I have been have been uh, covering them with a little coat of Mod Podge as well. So, okay, so now I want to get this. <laughs> it's kind of windy. You want to make sure you get it lined up where you want it first. And we cut these so nice, like just right. So you want to go ahead and get all the bubbles out you can in the center. Go with the grain. Rubbing it together, rubbing it out. Again, trying to get those bubbles out, little air pockets. I kind of like the look of the air pockets. Um, as long as you can read and enjoy the picture fully, you don't want to lose any part of the artwork. So, And this is a wonderful quote. <coughs> This one actually made me think of Sean because that boy has more energy and gets things done. If it needs to be done, he gets it done. And I kind of live by that same motto, um, work hard and rest hard, you know. So we make sure we get all our stuff done first and then we enjoy life. So this one says, it all seems impossible until it's done. Nelson Mandela, amazing human being. Um, I totally feel like uh, there's nothing Sean can't do. The boy, um, the man, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. He, anything he wants to know about, he figures it out. He learns about it, he teaches himself, whether using Google or whatever. Um, there's so much help out there. He really can learn just about anything now with the internet. And, um, hey, you're watching a how-to video, so. Isn't that how it works? All right, so now you've got it adhered, pushing all those bubbles out as best you can. You really want to go around the edge so there's no pieces that could peel off later in life, you know, around the edge. So just going around, making sure all of that is down, pressing it nice. And then go over with a nice, generous coat. Again, go with the grain, but I always go towards the edges first. way like this because you don't want to rub this way and peel it up so again I'm giving it a little pressure still pressing any air out that might be there <laughs> and like it looks all covered over and, and glazy and, and it looks like you can't see it as much or maybe the black isn't going to shine through but it will it's going to dry in this nice little glaze and it'll still be nice and it'll be protected and last longer than just a paper poster. So, it's all good. 
Again, be generous on the edges. Make sure you press that edge and all the air pockets out. All right. Getting it all and pressing it down. I'm pressing pretty hard. Uh, you don't want to get so wet that it tears the paper. You just got to get used to it and figure out what that point is. Get it in there, make sure it's all coated and it's going to dry. And if any little pieces of grass have shown up, be careful. You can scratch the poster at this point. It's a little bit fragile. All right, so once you feel like you've got a full coat, make sure it's in there really good. spots. Again with those edges going around making sure. Now so that you don't see these crazy double lines I'm going to go over it in one good direction. One more dollop. It's a lot. But it's going to dry okay. Especially in this nice hot sun it'll dry well. It's a little cloudy but you got to know that it's going to dry and it's going to be fine. And it's going to dry nice and hard. All right, so after you do that, you're going to go ahead and you'll see there's some edges that you'll see like little bumps right here. So I like to go ahead and press those edges down so it's nice and flush all the way around. Pressing into the grain of the wood. So it looks like it is one piece. And I just make sure to go all the way around gloves would just pull everything up. This is so water soluble it's not going to mess you up. So just pressing it all down. Make sure it's good and it looks glossy there covered over but that's going to thin out when it dries. So I'm going to set it over my drying station and that's good. So that's how you use Mod Podge to attach a photo or a picture to a piece of wood. Super easy. Fit Farm Checkout.